Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm planning from August the 10th to August the 16th. And um, before I get started, I will show you how last week turned out. In fact, it actually turned out really, really nice. It was obviously the first week back to planning um, since my month off, and I'm just going to adjust the camera very slightly because that is wonky. There we go. Um, yeah, so just be able to get back on track and get some plans on again was actually really, really nice. So I am very, very happy with how it turned out. Um, still missing a couple of bits um, on here just because I haven't finished a week yet. But other than that, we're all good. So moving on to this week, I am, of course... Jumping straight back in with the Plump Planner. Would not expect any different from me, of course. I am indeed, it looks like, missing a sheet. In fact, I don't have any of the icons or anything like that. I Give me two seconds. I don't know what happened there. I... Pretty sure I had all of the sheets before, um, so I'm not sure why I'm missing some now. But I do have the leftover stickers from last week, which, okay, admittedly aren't quite the same colouring, but it, it's near enough, so we'll make do. Um, yeah, no, it might actually be an old variation of this kit because new kits don't have the two checklists here because they're all on a separate page so actually i might not be missing a sheet this just might how be how it is perhaps okay i'm honestly i'm not too sure we'll just we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna start of course with the washi tape how has everyone's week been i hope you've had a lovely lovely day I have had so far a very nice weekend. Um, if you watched my plan with me last week, then you would have. Oops. Ah. Oh, well done, Amy. Two weeks back. Um, anyway, if you had watched my plan with me last week, then you would have known that. My husband and I actually had our family house to ourselves this weekend because the rest of my family went back to our original old house all the way back down south. Um, so yeah, it's not good for them. They aren't very happy. They, you know, they pretty much hated it. Their journey was exceptionally long. I unfortunately got stuck in a really bad traffic traffic jam on the way down there so they got there a couple of hours later than they had hoped so they weren't actually able to get as much done as they wanted to um, and now plans have changed and they're now coming home earlier on Monday so I'm not entirely sure what that's about but <laughs> um, nevertheless they are coming home on Monday as planned just at a different time Oh, I don't have any weekly checklist boxes. I'm going to have to use this purpley one from last week. At least I actually get to use my dinner sticker, which I forgot to last time. Oh dear, I didn't even use it in the end. Oh well. Um, it's probably best to be fair, we've not exactly eaten like the healthiest of people <laughs> this weekend, I can assure you. Um, there we go. Right. So, yeah. Um, but this weekend actually has been really busy, really productive and really relaxed. And I have loved every single second of it. It's been so, so nice. Yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it. Um, let's do my very best to cover that up there we go right 
The other thing is, of course, oh no, I've got those, which I can use as headers. Yeah, sure. I'm just going to readjust my seat. Okay, let's get started. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about checklists, apart from perhaps pulling ones from last week's kit, because, well, because of lack of checklists in this one. Um, one, oh, I don't really know what to say about next week. I'm not entirely sure what's going to be happening. Um, I know exactly what is happening on Monday, and that is literally the extent of my knowledge. So this plan with me is going to be very sporadic and I can only apologise for that. Um, it's not supposed to be, I promise. I, don't, I just... I know what I want to get done on a personal level, but when it comes to, you know, actual things for, like, family events and things like that, I have absolutely no clue. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, right, let's try and get some of these down straight. Not like that, because that was terrible. There we go. Um, uh, there we go. Last one, and I'll go in with these more. Should I do that one? Oh no, I only have one of those. Mm, I have to use the darker one then. Anyway, um, so yes, I do hope that you've all had a lovely, lovely week. I am still absolutely loving this new house and I'm loving how loud I can actually speak now on video because I'll give you a funny story about this house actually. Well, it's not a story at all, that's, com that's complete nonsense. Um, the walls and doors are incredibly soundproof. Um, I can be speaking at this volume which is actually probably slightly projected. Um, it's not just normal speaking volume, it's pretty loud. And my husband can barely hear what I'm saying on the other side of the door when it's shut. That's how amazing these walls are in the house that we're in. So I was a little bit concerned because I've, in this house, our room is directly opposite my sister's. Um, and my sister has, I mean, I hope she doesn't mind me saying this, but she has pretty messed up sleeping um, patterns. Um, she doesn't really get to sleep very quickly. Um, and when she does finally get to sleep, she doesn't actually sleep for very long, so she ends up sleeping at very weird times. And one of my worries was that I was going to be filming, you know, at some random point in the day and she'd be able to hear me and I'd wake her up. And obviously, it's not just that, but I'm not embarrassed about filming. Um, my whole family you know, absolutely know that I film and they're very supportive of it um, and in fact most of them are actually subscribed to my channel. Um, I don't think they watch any of my videos but they are subscribed. Um, so I am very thankful for that of course. Um, so I'm not embarrassed about filming but at the same time filming when you know you have people listening out for you and watching you is a little bit of a I don't know, it's, mm, it's a little bit nerve-wracking in my opinion. Um, I'd much rather film in peace and they can go and watch me afterwards and I really don't care about it. I'm not embarrassed at all, I just, I'd rather film in peace. <laughs> um, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, so I'm very grateful about how soundproof the walls are. Saying that... <laughs> the whole house isn't soundproof 
And what I mean by the fact that the whole house isn't soundproof is that the floors are hollow. And I mean, they're incredibly hollow. You can hear every footstep, every slight movement in furniture um, through the floorboards. My mum can hear me having a shower on the third floor when she is on the ground floor because of when the water hits the floor in our ensuite bathroom it is so loud that she can hear me she can hear me get up in the mornings on the ground floor um and i'm three floors above her so yeah it's um vertically the house is terrible for sound um but horizontally like floor by floor you can't hear much of what someone else in another room is doing so for filming purposes when i'm stationary i'm just talking luckily no one can hear me um however if i was to get up and walk around with my planner and do my plan with me mobile everyone would be able to hear everything i'm doing so it's a little bit odd in that sense but other than that this house is truly amazing obviously we still haven't brought everything yet in fact saying that i've got to i need to mail the original moving company that we moved with a couple of weeks ago oh my god i say a couple of weeks ago we moved a month ago now it was a month yesterday that we moved that is insane um anyway so i've got to mail them back and ask them very nicely with lots of pretty pleases and cherries on top if they would be so kind to let us hire out another one of their vans we will not need another truck another lorry oh goodness no all of our furniture that we've wanted to bring is in and we do not need any more but it's the small things things like christmas decorations um <laughs> Uh, still in our old house and um, i've still got a lot and i mean truly a lot of craft stuff you have to bring um i left it all there just because i don't know really because i have missed it pretty much every single day since we moved um but at the time i was like oh i won't need it and of course i say that and now and now I'm thinking, I really wish I could do some colouring. Oh wait, I can't. All my stuff's back there. Um, so yeah, not fun. But anyway. Um, so yeah, and I was really contemplating and completely redoing all of my planners. Not this one, all of my uh, ring planners. And yet I couldn't make any dividers because all of my paper is back there. Um, and of course, all of our board games. My husband and I, well, my whole family are massive gamers we all love gamers um we all love games sorry and we all love all different types of games so we love virtual and online as well as the you know the og monopoly <laughs> um ludo we love war games so so much and whilst we brought all of the family board games which comprise of Ticket to Ride and um, Pandemics and that's Pandemics of all types we've got the original we've got Cthulhu Pandemic we've got I'm pretty sure some other type of Pandemic and um, we've got oh blimey what other board games have we got ah I've forgotten now um anyway we have a lot of board games um so all of which have completely vanished outside of my brain right now but we have a lot um but unfortunately all of the games that my husband and i own just for our entertainment purposes we left all of those there as well so i know this sounds a little bit weird but we're collectors of monopoly so we really like getting all the different types of Monopoly. Um, we have obviously the classic OG standard Monopoly with Park Lane and Mayfair and all of that. 
we have the electronic banking monopoly, which I understand, I get it people. Exactly the same as normal monopoly, just one has a card and one has cash. I get it, but it does make a bit of a difference in the gameplay, so it's why we have two. Um, then we have Disney Monopoly, we have World of Warcraft Monopoly, we have Pokemon Monopoly, <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of Monopoly, we just really like Monopoly. Um, my husband says he likes Monopoly until he loses, and that's quite often, um, and then he hates Monopoly all of a sudden, but um, on the whole he, he quite likes playing Monopoly as much as I do. Um, so we have a lot of Monopoly, we also have a 5-in-1, 6-in-1 chest thing. Um, so it has two thin wooden slabs with game play tabletops on both sides. So that's four, yeah that's four, four tabletop games all in one. So I believe it's backgammon, chess, Ludo, and oh blimey, what was the other one? Checkers. I think it's checkers. Um, so yeah, we have those. Plus, you also get so you get all the parts to that. So that's all the little meeples and all the little discs and tokens, and then. You also get dominoes and a pack of playing cards within it as well. So you get that's six games all in one little... It's not little at all, I don't know I'm saying little, it's about that size. Um, <laughs> almost, it's actually bigger than this. Um, so yeah, that wooden cave of wonders of war games. Um, and we also have a very special limited edition from years ago. A game called Adventures of Neo Pia. So, if any of you young, well, not young, older, older viewers, so my age and above probably, any of you remember Neo Pets? Well, I say remember, it's actually still going. I've literally just downloaded the new alpha version of their mobile game. Um, but yes, if any of you remember Neopets and used to have your own, well, they actually made a board game called The Adventures of Neopia. Um, or Neopia, I think is actually how you pronounce it. Um, and we bought it... Oh, well, I must have been under the age of 10 because we were in our first house. All the way back in Gravesend. Wow. <laughs> um... Yeah, actually, that was a very long time ago. So, must be, what, 15 years ago? I'm 21 now, so yeah, that probably makes sense. 20, <laughs> about 15 years ago, we bought this game from Toys R Us because they were still a thing. And it was limited edition then, and we still have it with all the parts, with, you know, all the original pieces. And boy do I love that game. I don't really play Neopets as much anymore. I do occasionally log into my really old account just to, you know, relive the old memories. But no, I don't really play Neopets anymore. My Neopets probably hate me because I am probably the world's worst owner. But alas. I still like the game so when my husband and I got married and we were sorting through our family board games that game was there my mum was like do you still like this game and I was like um yes and she was like ah oh, you can have it then <laughs> so yep yeah, I've been using and playing that ever since with my husband and my husband who didn't play Neopets actually really loves the board game so that's still in the old house and something still need to go and fetch. Um, other things we need to fetch, I have a special memory box. If anyone has a memory box, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it's just a... Well, mine is technically a 27 litre plastic box from Asda. Um, 
which basically holds just really important key objects and things that hold a lot of both emotional and monetary value um so i have all of my competitive football training stuff in there um for anyone who didn't know um i was trained by arsenal football club um and i was going to go into the leagues and for female training um as a child but it was too expensive and so I couldn't um, but I was originally trained by them and was going to do all of that kind of stuff so all of my medals and trophies and certificates and stuff are all in there I have certificates from school in there I have key birthday cards and stuff in there so 16th 18th and 21st uh, all those cards are in there um oh blimey well what other stuff have i got um i have tickets to awesome shows that i saw so for example Les Mis tickets i have in there um jersey boys wicked Billy Elliot, yeah, all of those, um, I have all of those, um, yeah, anyway, I have a bunch of really awesome, you know, special memories I want to keep hold of forever and ever, they're all in a box, but I left those there because I really didn't want it to get trashed or lost in the move, um, so with everything massive, with furniture and stuff going in one big truck, I don't want to take it with me and it get damaged and I lose everything. So I, I left it there to then be able to bring back in a car um, later down the line where it'd be safe. Yeah, that's, so that's probably just going to go away in my wardrobe again, like it is now. So it's safe but easy to get hold of should I need it. So I think apart from more hangers... <laughs> and my teddy bears that is probably literally everything left to bring from my old room and house so now i've waffled on about that for a bit i'm just about to do the finishing touches of this spread so i've got to fit in these little sections here and then we are done and good to go so First thing I want to mark down is on Friday, it is my husband's first payday for his new job. Big difference, my husband will now be getting paid weekly. I have never, ever budgeted weekly before. All, you know, everything I've ever done is <laughs> monthly or four weekly. So budgeting weekly is going to be different i'm not gonna say it's gonna be fine because i think for the first month we are going to probably come across a couple of i don't want to say difficulties it's not really difficult but it's just a completely different way of working so i don't know it's just gonna be it is gonna be different um but yeah, we've got to allow for that and budget for that um, and just do it. Just be really super observant of where money is going in and out and all of those kind of things. Okay, let's get some icons going. Bill Jews. Mm. I will have a Bill Jew on Monday. And again, you'll also see me actually planning bills again in my planner. I used to do this a year ago when money was a little tighter for us. Um, then my husband got promoted at work. And so money was a little bit less stressful for us. And we didn't have to worry too much because we just set everything up in direct debits. Everything was going out. So as soon as we just made sure every week that bills had gone out at the right time, we didn't really need to worry. Um, but now everything's changing and getting paid differently. We need to be a bit more aware of 
what time things are going out and when and how much and all of those kind of things. So, also I've got one going out on Thursday. I will be having a separate budget planner. Um, just so my husband and I can both use it and just pick it up. I'm using one of my small personal size planners. Um, again, just so my husband knows where all of our finances are as well. And we can just have both a vertical and a physical copy at all times. My husband also really wants to watch the Yorkshire Job Centre programme on that coming out on Mondays. I mean, I'm going to find it hilarious. I love location-based programmes. I really do. There used to be some about education in the UK. I used to love those. And so I'm sure the Job Centre one will be just as hilarious and enlightening, probably. Um, so yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. I'm putting a shopping trolley down on Friday as well. So if my husband gets paid then we can work out what we need to buy and how and where. Um, I had a shower today, which means I probably won't need one until Thursday, which is good. Um, oh, I'm going to use this little calendar to film plan with me because I feel like that makes sense and I'm going to use a little heart as well for when the video gets uploaded I'm going to do a little fork and spoon sticker well little things I should say on Saturday in case we do go out oh no 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 that needs to go on Tuesday. Eat out to help out. Who else has done it? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know where you went and how much you saved. Seriously, we have done... <laughs> this is going to sound awful. Uh, how much we've actually eaten out since the 1st of August. No, but seriously, we have actually saved so much money. So, let's go back. So yeah, it actually started on the 3rd. We went to a restaurant in Blackpool on Monday the 3rd. We saved, oh gosh, a lot of money. Um, must have been, what, £60? £70? I say that we are a family of six, but we actually went with my brothers from another house. So because you're allowed to do social and support bubbling, We've combined our houses together to make eight. So yeah, we must have saved about £70 that day. And then we had a break on Tuesday. No, Preston. We went to Preston, that was it. And we had Subway for lunch. And Subway for four of us cost, I think it was like £14. Which is insane because we all had meal deals. Plus we had like a couple of extras on the side. So £14 for a Subway was insane. And then Wednesday, we went to hungry, a local Hungry Horse and... Oh, I can't remember how much... Oh, I do remember how much. It cost £35 for six full meals. Adult meals, I should say. And then we had puddings and drinks as well. I can't even express. Thank you, Rishi, is all I can say. Rishi, this... At eat out to help out thing is delightful and I'm so happy that you've done it because we have saved so much money as a family. Um, I'd love to say we're eating healthy every other time but my husband and I haven't eaten healthy this weekend. It was our first weekend alone in this house we were kind of like we'll have a Burger King. Um, <laughs> go us, well done. And we're having pizza and chicken tonight so yeah, just yeah. I'm not going to go there. Right. So this is getting a little full now. Which means the plan with me is nearly done. Which is probably just as well. Because this one is an exceptionally long plan with me. Because I waffled a lot about board games. And 
I would love to apologize, but I feel like I haven't been able to speak fully yet and you guys haven't really heard actual, the proper part of my voice because you've always heard a very quiet, mild, squeaky whisper of my voice and you haven't actually been able to fully hear how I speak and who I am and I do feel like voices add to personality types so I do want you guys to know a little bit more about me obviously um <laughs> so yeah so I feel like I want to share a lot more with you now about what I'm doing and what I'm getting up to um <laughs> and a bit more about me in general I'm going to leave this part of Saturday blank just because I have no idea what's going on. My dad was on a call two weeks ago. So I don't think he is on call, I don't know, this week. He might be on call this Saturday. He can't, well, I don't know, he might be on call for bank holiday because that's my dad and that's just typical. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, see I don't think he's on call and my husband I don't think is working the full week this week. So we could be going out. I just don't know yet. This section though feels very, very bare. I do not, I do not like it. I do have an important checklist of things I need to do. So why not? Let's do it because I am sure there is something that will crop up that will need my attention and might just do, oh, that would have, Amy, 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 you did it too soon, you did it too soon. Oh well, I'm sure I'll make use of it. Could actually put this note sticker down as well. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like that. Okay. This is my final spread. I really do hope that you liked it. And again, sorry for waffling on, but this is kind of how it's going to be now, I think. Um... <laughs> I'm able to talk and able to show off more of who I am and what I get up to because this house kind of allows me to do that. Um, so I do, you know, just want to share a lot with you and get this channel back up and running and where it's supposed to be. So. I really do hope that you liked this video and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below with if you've eaten with the eat out to help out and if so where did you go and also let me know what you got up to this week and what you're looking forward to next week but until next time bye guys